On today's episode of Wangle's Workshop, I restore an old bench for my parents. I think this bench had been somewhat forgotten about. I'm pretty sure the last time it was used was when I was still living at their house. So when I came across it a couple of weeks ago, which was probably 12 years since its last use, I thought it looked like a fun restoration project. With the bench broken down, it's time to cut the replacement wooden slats. Now instead of going with an expensive wood that would deal well with the weather, I decided to just use a cheap pine that I would weatherproof myself. And I think that this was the right choice because my parents decided that they were going to keep this bench in the back porch instead of outside in the weather. The process for making the slats was pretty simple. I just used the old slats as templates. For the stain, I used a brand called Verathane, and the color is honey, which makes absolutely no sense to me because it's like a dark brown, but it was the color that I wanted. To clean and remove the rust, I soaked the metal in distilled vinegar and then scrubbed it down with a strong wire brush. To paint the metal, I used an exterior oil-based paint by Rust-Oleum. And initially I had picked up a gloss, but I did one coat and just felt like it didn't look right, so I went with a flat black. And I did a total of three coats.
For the finish on the wooden slats, I used an oil-based urethane by Varathane, which sounds odd to say. Um, the problem with the oil-based urethane is the dry time, and when you combine that with the Florida humidity, it was taking like eight hours for the boards to dry. I brought them inside and it helped some, but not really, so it took quite a long time. I did a total of three coats on the back of the wooden slats and then five coats on the faces and give it a light sanding between each coat. Here I'm marking out and pre-drilling all the holes where the bolts will go when I put the bench back together. With the pre-drills done, it's time to assemble the bench. For the back of the bench, I didn't have the right length screws, so I recycled the old ones and I'll just replace them once I get the opportunity. If you enjoyed this content, please don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. And if you want to be notified when I upload new videos, hit that notification bell. Thanks for watching.